Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to run through a few empties from the last, I'm guessing six weeks to two months really since I've done one of these, maybe a bit longer actually. I'm not going to show you all the empties as I usually do, so repeat products that I've shown before, um, leaving out uh, by and large. Just talking about some of the empties that I'm either quite positive about or um, negative or not so positive at all, just to give you an idea of what I enjoyed and what I'll be purchasing again. So I'm going to talk first of all about probably my most favourite of the empties, totally unexpected, and a fragrance. So I've had a couple of people saying, can I talk about fragrances a bit more? And I do intend to, but I haven't really had any new purchases recently. I have swapped over to my summer kind of fragrance wardrobe, so I might talk a bit about this. But this one is something I would never have dreamt of buying on my own. I didn't immediately love it the minute I sniffed it, but it definitely grew on me. It was a freebie with the... Um, I'm pretty sure the Liberty Advent calendar. So it's a very generous size, 15 millilitres, which uh, I think retails at getting on for 50 pounds. It's quite an expensive perfume. I've just ordered um, a slightly bigger size with Cult Beauty in order to get one of these um, gift with purchases, which uh, I'm gonna so I'm gonna say this is about 35 something like that. I'll look it up and put it in the description box below. So it was a, a good deal to get, and it did last me for ages. And the benefit for Lalabo, um, because it is by they, uh, is that having this bigger sample allowed me to wear it, and it really really grew on me. And the other thing about it was I have not for a long time had as many compliments on my perfume. I can think of at least three, four occasions when somebody, interestingly all women, not men, stopped me and said, or you know, when they were serving me at checkout said, I really, really love your fragrance, what is it? So it's called Another 13, which is a really odd um, title, uh, name for a fragrance, I think, by Le Labo, who are the specialist um, niche perfumers. You can find them in Liberty and a few other luxury stores in London. You can buy them on Cult Beauty. And I'm told this is a unisex, reading up on the website, developed by Jefferson Hack, uh, one of Kate Moss's expo. Um, if I'd read the ingredients list, it wouldn't have encouraged me to buy because it contains musk and ambrette, two um, fragrance notes that I often have trouble with, along with patchouli, although it depends on the blend with patchouli. Uh, ambrette is um, a featuring note in just about the only Chanel fa fragrance in um, Les Exclusives that I don't like, uh, which is number 18 and uh, I gave away a bottle of that because I really couldn't stand it. So everything against this, but in fact, um, really refreshing, not intrusive, um, dries down to a much more interesting and complex scent, and it definitely was very much um, admired on me. So when I get my new bottle, it's been out of stock um, for quite a long while on Cult Beauty. I tried to order it before. I may talk a bit more detail about the notes that I get from it and why I like it, but that was a definite repurchase resulting from a free gift. I've had quite a few cleansers in the last few months. This um, was a free gift. I can't remember if I've talked about Emma Hardy, the Moringa Cleansing Balm before now. It's a very frequent free gift in the kind of Space NK Cult Beauty um, boxes and I've definitely had one before. It's a wonderful travel size. It's a really nice, um, quite loose cleansing balm. I mean by that you don't have to work it a lot for it to melt down. It looks a bit lumpy in the pot but goes on very smoothly. Uh, it does the job. Um, if you like a cleansing balm for a first cleanse and I think you're probably going to like a cleansing balm uh, if you've got a drier skin um, because it does bung a bit of moisture into the cleansing process 
or if you're wearing heavy makeup, I find an oil or balm-based first cleanse is more efficient than uh, a first cream cleanse, or certainly a micellar water cleanse. Uh, it's a nice product, so I understand why it's popular. I haven't got around to actually buying it for myself yet, but um, one to try if you want a balm. Um, one I possibly would buy before the Emma Hardy is the Sunday Riley CEO uh, Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. So performing very much the same function as that cleansing balm, an oil-based cleanser, uh, which was very effective for me in getting off heavier makeup um, on heavy makeup days and uh, was gentle enough to use around the eye. It didn't make my eyes sting, which is a plus. So uh, if I was traveling, I didn't need to take uh, an additional eye um, makeup remover unless I was planning to wear a lot of mascara. So uh, it has a quite strong smell, as does the Moringa Balm. So those who are not fragrance lovers may not like this. I like it because it's the uh, vitamin C, um, you know, citrus fragrance. Um, I like it. It's quite expensive. Uh, I don't know how it compares, actually, with the... Emma Hardy in the full size. If I was asked about my favourite cleanser, I think at the moment it probably would be Ceramic Slip, although I know it's been reformulated recently and I haven't, I've got a bottle of the reformulated, I haven't used it, so um, bear that in mind. This is the old formulation, I'm not quite sure how they compare with each other. Um, this is an expensive cleanser, but I find as the kind of serious um, wash-off cleanser, this is the one that works best for me in that it really does leave my skin looking and feeling squeaky clean, but without completely drying out. It's for no normal to oily, which I wouldn't normally go for because I'm kind of normal to dry a bit combination these days. And it has green clay, which, um, well, and Moroccan clay, as you can see, in the past I wouldn't have gone for, but I do find this quite a gentle um, cleanser. It's not very attractive to look at. You can see a bit of the kind of green yuck in the bottom, but perfectly easy to use, and uh, I do like it a lot. Another product which I like a lot, I've had before, I don't think I've shown you, is from the L'Occitane range. Um, don't buy a lot of their stuff. Sometimes get it given as gifts. Um, they do kind of very pretty um, boxes for holiday season, which I think appeal to aunties and uncles and the older generation, older even than me. So I have had quite a bit in, in my time and I'm not a huge fan of any of it except this product, which is the Almond Shower Oil. It's got the most gorgeous fragrance. It's a very moisturising um, shower product or I use it instead of soap in the bath. I don't use it as the kind of bubble bath or bath oil. It's not designed for that, but as a cleansing. Again, it's kind of the equivalent of the cleansing oil I've just talked about from Sunday Riley for the face, only for the body and obviously much cheaper. Very nice product to use if you like the smell of almond. If you don't, you're not going to like it. Um, a body bath product that I do not recommend is uh, Rogue O'Neill, Rogue O'Neill's Therapy Himalayan Detox Salts. I've had these before. This came in a free gift, so gave it another go. People rave about this on um, review sites and say how it you know, really relaxes them, has this heavenly smell. I just don't get it. When you actually, it's empty, they're pink. You still smell the smell, which is a kind of peppery medicinal smell. Very, very nice when you smell the dry salts or the jar. But once you put it in the bath, there is absolutely no fragrance at all. So I don't see where they get the, you know, fantastic fragrance bath. I was moved with this um, batch then to add a, a fragranced oil so that I was getting the sensation of a nice aromatherapy bath with... Um, the benefits, if there were any of this product, uh, still didn't do it for me, I have to say. Here's a disappointment. My Rodin lipstick, I think I showed these quite a while ago, maybe two years. Um, this was my favourite one. I think this was called Winx, yeah, after her dog. Um, had a beautiful geranium smell when I bought it. 
you can see it doesn't look as if I've used it a lot I did um, pretty pretty pink completely gone off smells absolutely rancid barely used that doesn't happen to me a lot with lipsticks I know some people say they get it with Tom Ford uh, and to be fair I've got two others bought at around the same time as this that haven't gone off I've stored them in exactly the same place so I'm not sure what's happened there but bad news really another negative herbivore brighton this was a free sample not sure what with this is an all natural vegan um brand that says they use therapeutic scents so i immediately thought well this will smell of pineapple and papaya as those are the enzymes used for this brightening mask number one disappointment it didn't smell of that or anything particularly nice at all um just a vaguely clean smell um, they warned you that you might feel tingling, so I thought that's good, it's doing something. I certainly didn't. It just kind of dried down and didn't do anything at all. Um, not a fan. Uh, maybe the other herbivore products are better. Uh, a product that I was a fan of, but it's dried up, is the Burberry Cream Eyeshadow. This is a wonderful neutral um, gold copper. And I did use it a lot, you can see, um, but it's completely dried up now. I do store these carefully. I guess you do have to use up cream products fairly quickly. So a shame um, because they're quite expensive, but I would still say they are a nice um, product. Uh, beautiful neutrals, gorgeously packaged, a bit heavy to take um, if you travel a lot, which is partly why I didn't get to use up. If you were going to use your eye cream, you know, really regularly every day, then I would still say um, have a look at the Burberry ones. They're definitely quality products. But um, if you're like me and you flit between many, many, many um, eye cosmetics, then you're not going to use up this before it dries up. So there are a few thoughts on my empties and uh, I've certainly got a few things that I'm getting to the close of now, mostly from the kind of Christmas um, hauls so it just shows six months to try and use up things but uh, watch this space so until next time bye for now